All right, remember, we're going to be looking at algebraic vectors today. And we, if we remember back to what we were working on earlier, we found out that a vector can be written simply as A and B. And what it does is it looks like a coordinate point, but it's a little bit different. And where A and B are telling us about the horizontal component of the vector, and B is telling us about the vertical component of the vector. And when we write these, we can write it as V equals AB with that, um, with those uh, brackets around the outside, or we can write it in terms of AI plus BJ. You'll notice now that is written right there, um, where A is still the horizontal, B is still the vertical component. So for example, if we look right here, it says the vector three, five, and three is the horizontal component five is the vertical component, can be written as 3i plus 5j. And that just simply means that we are breaking this down to its position vector components, which means we're just simply saying that three is our horizontal, five is our vertical, and we could graph that in two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And we can draw that as a initial point at the origin and a terminal point here at three, five. Terminal meaning the end and that this right here is going to be our vector or we can of course always write three, five on there. So let's go a little bit further and add on to what we were doing earlier. And that is simply um, drawing a position vector when we're given a vector that does not originate at the origin. So it says the vector V has an initial point P. So we're gonna be starting at P and that terminal point to terminal point Q. And we're gonna start at P, go through Q. Um, and it gives us those points. It says find the position vector and write V in the form AI plus bj. So let's go ahead and put our information down. We have p, which is going to be 2, 3. We're over 2 and up 3. And then we are also going to have q, which looks like it is going to be 3 down 4. Okay, 3 down 4 uh, to negative 4. And what it says is our initial point is P, our terminal is Q, so our vector is going in this direction. Now, um, in a previous video, what we learned was we can simply find the position vector by subtracting the X's in order and the Y's in a specific order. And in other words, if we want a visual of what, why we do this, it's just simply we're making a triangle. We're finding the horizontal component, which is right there. And we are going to find the vertical component, which is right here. So to find the horizontal component, I just subtract the x's. So let's say 3 minus 2. So I'll put that there, 3 minus 2. And then to find the horizontal, we're going to start with the original one we started with, which is negative 4, negative 4 minus 3. Okay, um, and then we just continue to find our values of A and B to find that vector. So we just go three minus two, which is one, negative four minus three, which is negative seven. Okay, and this is going to be our vector V. Now let's go ahead and sketch our vector V so it makes sense with what we've done so far. Now this vector is going to be a position vector because we've now just identified the components of it, the horizontal and vertical components of the original vector PQ. Um, and so we're just gonna simply add that onto our grid. We're gonna say position vector zero, zero, which is the origin. Then we're gonna go over one and down seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we are gonna draw an arrow directly to that vector. Um, the ending point is one, negative seven. The vector, however, is written as one negative seven. And we can continue to write it in the form of AI plus BJ, which is just simply one A, and it's a negative seven, so negative seven J. And I meant, I meant an I. Oops, let me go ahead and put that one I. 
minus 7j, or we can just simply write i minus 7j. That's how we would write it, and that is how we are going to graph the position vector, and we can always come back and use those uh, little tasks, those formulas that we are given in order to find those position vectors.